Tomorrow, I'm going to be going on a type of ride that I've actually never done before. It's going to be around 50 miles of river trails, so like, kind of sandy, silty, just off-road trails, but it's along a river, so it's relatively flat, and it's not a race or anything. We'll be going just like whatever pace works for you, really. I don't plan on going that fast. So I was trying to think last night what bike I should take. And obviously, since I'm riding off-road, it makes sense to ride my mountain bike. I have a great 29er full suspension trail bike that's wonderful, super comfy. But I figure that it's a little too easy. I think a lot of people are going to be using gravel bikes and off-road, all-road bikes, whatever you want to call them, on their ride. And I feel like a full suspension trail bike is a little more than I want to do or need to do. So I figured... I'll meet them in the middle and ride a 90s mountain bike, an 80s mountain bike in this case. The bike in question that I plan on taking is this 1989 Diamondback Topanga. It was sort of a mid-range bike, not super high-end of the late 80s, and I'd say it's around your standard 1980s mountain bike. 26 inch wheels, 21 speed drivetrain, cantilever brakes. However, it's not your normal 80s mountain bike because it has these wonderful things called bull moose handlebars, which I have fallen in love with, and they're very comfortable. They transform the bike. Before it had like super, a super long stem with narrow bars and it handled like crap. It felt terrible, super uncomfortable, but these bull moose handlebars are, they're the dream. I really like them. They added a bunch of donor bike parts to make it nice. It has nice wheels, nice DRLX, everything, and it's a pretty good bike, and it's very comfortable. So that's the bike that I'll be taking. But since it's about a 50 mile ride taken slowly, I will have to bring some things with me. I'll have to bring probably a lunch for sure and as much water as I can carry as well, since I don't plan on having that many water fill-ups, just being that it's November and everything is turned off for the winter. So, it's time to see what kind of bags I have and what works to carry stuff on the Diamondback Topanga. Let's see what happens. There's one bottle cage and two. Should be enough water, I think. The most exciting thing that I'm going to be adding on to the Diamondback is this old, vintage, purple, amazing seat pack. It's actually really big. I didn't know that they made seat packs back then this big, but it can haul everything that I need, hopefully. Yeah, I think it can even hold a pump and snacks, everything. So, yeah. Well, this is two days after the bike ride, and I have to say the 89 Diamond back did phenomenally. I had a great time going through the sandy trails, it handled it very well. It was a ton of fun doing wheelies and... Yeah, 50 miles on an 80s mountain bike is definitely doable. That is if you have it set up right. In this case, it was very comfortable. The bull moose bars just there make the bike super comfy. I was able to fit a banana, a sweet potato, snacks, a whole bag of tools, including a pump. A ton of stuff in this old overland equipment seat pack. It did very well. I used all my water in my water bottles. Yeah, overall the bike did very, very well. This bike really took on some mud. There was this muddy section where a bunch of like springs kind of go into the river that's just completely caked. That's always muddy and this ride was no different. So I have some cleaning to do now. Thanks for watching this video. I had a ton of fun making it and going on that bike ride. I hope it inspired you to go ride your bike. So get out there.